Hi there, Maria here. I'm going to show you how to make a small shrine from an old Altoids tin. Here's one I already made and it's painted partially and then decorated with various paper and borders and some other doodads. Because you can paint the whole thing or you can cover it with paper. I started by sanding the outside of it. And here I had a icon uh, from a digital sheet that I uh, bought on Etsy of the Virgin Mary. So I'm going to use that. But you could use anything. You can make a shrine to any deity or nature or um, an ancestor, anybody or anything. So I'm, I'm going to put this paper on the front where it's um, the lid is embossed so I want to cover that so the lettering doesn't show through so I chose the heavy duty scrapbooking paper to do that and um, here I'm just cutting that out to size I try to choose papers that fit with the icon that I'm using, color, so that the colors fit together. And here I'm using white gesso to cover up the lettering on the back. And now it's dry, so I, I'm going to paint the edges. I'm leaving um, some red shining through on the edges from the tin itself. It gives it a little bit of a shabby chic look. I don't mind uh, some scuff marks and uh, and paints that that is not perfect because it gives it a look that it's used and cherished and now i have to fit i decided to put up paper on the bottom of the tin because the icon is not quite big enough. So I picked a paper that's similar in color and um, cut them both to size using the front um, cover as a pattern. So a lot of cutting and gluing. And then I have to make sure it fits and it didn't quite so then you have to trim it very carefully so it doesn't get too too small and then to test it to see that they both fit and I wanted to paint the inside of that bottom part of the tin just the edges to have them painted before I glue down the paper. Otherwise, it would make a mess or take a lot longer time. Although, I sometimes paint even when I have paper glued down. You have to just be careful. I don't recommend it if you're a sloppy painter.
And I'm using craft glue. Put it on pretty liberal uh, to make it stick well. And then I smooth it out to be like an even layer of glue. I don't like it when you can see glue or ridges through the paper. Same thing with the icon picture. I make sure there's no bubbles or ridges in the paper. Then I decided to put some gold paint on the inside edge just to make it blend better. And then I decided uh, to use some um, borders from a packet that I got at Joanne Fabrics because I didn't like the way the green looked at the very edges from the paper on the bottom. So I cut these two pieces to size and I'm gluing that over. Sometimes you never, you don't know when you start how are you going to finish things? They, they don't always turn out like you planned, even though you have the elements already gathered. And I decided to paint the turquoise on top of the gesso. Kind of go with the rest of the design. So here I'm speeding this up because I spent so much time trying to match these borders. So they looked like they all came together harmoniously at the corners. I didn't quite do, get it, but close. And here again, I take the backs off and glue them down with some glue stick just to make sure that the borders stay on the paper. Otherwise, they could very well lift at the corners. And then it would be a mess. So now I'm gluing the front cover to the top of the lid here using craft glue again. And I wanted to put a piece of a border at the bottom of the inside lid to give it a little more bling. And I had a polymer clay tile that I had embedded a heart into and I'm going to use that as an embellishment. For these heavier doodads I'm using E6000 as a glue, which is very hard to get out of the tube when it's getting older. E6000 is really a jewelry glue and it, it's very strong. 
I put the word soulful. That was from a Tim Holtz uh, collection of words. And here I'm putting, this is a dragonfly polymer clay tile. I embedded a, 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 a charm that is a, a dragonfly metal and the word love above it. So, and then I just decided to paint the bottom gold. So that's pretty much it for this whole tutorial. You see how easy it is. You could put in flowers, any kind of twigs and things to decorate the tin. This is all I had though, so. Thank you for watching.